Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this DIY chore chart for barely any money at all and it has just helped so much around our house. So I started with this piece of scrap MDF that I got at Lowe's and that's from another video which I will link below. And this is how it turned out and it was just so easy to customize and list everything in a fun and attractive way. And the kids have just really responded very, very well to it so I thought I have to share this and here are some of the materials that you need. Of course, just vinyl and transfer tape. And then you're gonna need these little sawtooth hangers in the back. They're like a dollar at Lowe's or you can get them on Amazon. And then these are the command Velcro strips. And like in all my videos, all of it is at the end of the video, the products I mean. So this is where you see me printing the magic on my Cricut Maker. And I have created all of these files for you guys and they're all listed in the down bar below and you can download them for free and print these out exactly the way I have them or of course, customize them to your particular chores. So once you print them out, then of course you just need to weed it and then you have them all ready. And then we're gonna need to put that clear transfer tape, which is what you see here. And that just helps us to keep the letters in place while we're moving them. And you wanna use the little spatula to press them down so that they come off easily. And then cut them apart and you're just gonna kind of position them wherever you want them, but definitely don't take them off of their backing yet because until you have them all printed, you don't really need know how much space you need. So that's what you see me doing. I'm kind of just moving them around all right, so once I had the top portion done, then I went back and I printed everything that's at the bottom, which is under great decisions, and I'll explain that in a minute. And so to get them to come off easier, make sure that you press them from both the front and the back because I was having trouble transferring them until I did that. So this is where you just see me weeding them. And unfortunately for me, and this is why it's great to watch YouTube videos, I printed them in like a silver vinyl, which looked really cool, but it was very, very difficult to see against this MDF. And so that's the responsibilities and great decisions that I was talking about that I'll come back to at the end of the video. But I had to go back and reprint all of this in white vinyl because it just wasn't, you can see right here, like it looks really pretty, but it's just not popping off of the board the way that I wanted it to. So. All right, and the reason I separated it into two, which at the top it says responsibilities, and then here you see it says great decisions. I want the kids to learn that there are certain things that they just have to do, like unpacking their book bag, et cetera, eating dinner, and then their great decisions are things like doing those things with a good attitude or maybe without being asked to do your chores or without being asked to stay in your seat. So here are the responsibilities, basic things, unpack your lunchbox, pack a snack for the next day, do your homework, do your chores, et cetera, et cetera. And then under great decisions, and you'll see in a minute, all of these things, like I used good manners, I stayed in my chair, I treated my mom with respect, et cetera. Those are good decisions. It's not something that they have to do, but if they do it, I'm gonna reward them for it. So that is what you see me doing there. And I'm just showing you kind of a close up of how cool this MDF looks. When it's hanging on the wall, I don't know, it just looks very cool. It looks like something out of a restaurant. And we've had chore charts before that the kids just did not respond to as well, but they just think this looks so cool. They're constantly standing in front of it, looking at it. So once you have all that done, then this is where you see the sawtooth hangers. You can just kind of go in and you just pound them into the back, you know, one at the top, one at the bottom. And then because this is so long, I used these command strips at the bottom. And here's one thing I would say about these. Put the both of the command strips, like put them together and press them both onto the board. And then that way when you're just, you know, you have it all lined up and you're sticking it to the board, you just peel the one thing off and just push it into the wall. And you don't have to worry about lining up the command strips. So this is what it looks like, you know, just kind of walking around it as you walk by it. And the kids love it. Everybody that comes in the house just thinks it's so cool. Um, Cause it just looks modern and fun. It just, and it, it looks more mature, so it doesn't look like a little kid chore chart. And maybe that's why they respond better to it, but they really, really love this chore chart. Like any parent, I'm not above a little bribery slash allowance. So they don't get paid for the stuff under responsibilities, but for the good decisions or great decisions at the bottom, they earn a nickel each. And there are 10 of those, so that's a total of 50 cents a day, which is 350 a week. They're little kids, so you know, 350 a week is still a lot. So I, at the end, I just ended up taking two little notepads and then I just took those little binder clips. You'll see it here in a second, right here. So I just hot glued the binder clips to the board and then just stuck the um, pencils in the top, you know, just left them up and then just stuck the pencils. That way I can keep track of 
how much money they have. And I did glue 10 nickels there because, you know, it incentivizes them to see money as opposed to me saying 50 cents. So this is what it looks like fully complete. They know that they're not responsible or in charge of making the decisions about how much they earned. At the end of the evening, we stand there together and I say, okay, you know, you get 35 cents or 45 cents or whatever because you did a really good job on this, but you know, this one we need to work on a little bit. And so now I'm gonna go into the product. So this is the MDF, which I picked up at Lowe's for another project, which is not gonna be linked below just yet, depending on when you watch the video, um, but I will put it in there when it's up. And it was about $17 that MDF was. But since I had actually purchased it to do a tabletop, this was free for me because otherwise it was gonna end up in the trash. So it's $17 and it was a huge sheet of it. And then all of these photos that you're gonna see right here are courtesy of amazon.com. So this is just white vinyl. It doesn't matter. You can use any kind you want. This is Oracle. This is the clear transfer tape. I love this transfer tape. It is my absolute favorite, favorite transfer tape. And I have used them all. Again, all the links are down in the description box. Here is the sawtooth hanger that you're that you saw in the video one thing that i would say is i did pick up a couple extra really long paint stirs while i was at lowe's and at the end i did have to um super glue them to the back and then drill these in because when i tried to push them through at first you see how long those nails are they were coming through the mdf on the front so just hot glue paint stirs to the back and then just drill through and come through the back with the sawtooth hangers that way it gives you a really nice you know thick area to drill through so it's not coming through the front those are free by the way the paint stirs and then here are the command strips i absolutely love these things once i figured out like i said that you have to push them together before you put them on the wall um, this is the cricut maker i cannot say enough good things about this you're going to see this in a lot of my videos for the rest of the year and then certainly into 2019 and i just cannot say enough good things about this if you know about the cricut maker then you already probably know how amazing it is. This is the spatula and scraper that I use to help to transfer the letters. And this thing really does help. I mean, you could use a credit card. It's just harder on your hands. And I do this kind of stuff quite a bit. So for me, it's absolutely worth the whatever it was, $8 to buy this. Um, and then this is the brayer that I use. So after I had the letters on there, you know, I went across with the brayer and just kind of really pressed them in because I didn't go over it with like Mod Podge or anything like that because I just like the way it looks. So that's everything that was used in the video, guys. I hope this was helpful and just helps you to bring a little bit more peace and happiness into your home. As always, guys, thanks for spending a few minutes with me. Please click like and subscribe if you enjoy videos like this. I do post them every week. And I always like to disclose in all my videos that I've listed all the products below and I do list Amazon affiliate links which means that you pay the same price, but my family and I receive a very small commission, which helps us to keep making videos like this for you. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.